The Complete Evolution of Gigantopithecus The ancestors of Gigantopithecus form an interesting branch of the primate evolutionary tree, leading to one of the largest primates that ever lived on Earth. The genus Gigantopithecus belongs to the family of hominids, which includes modern apes. These are gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, and people. Gigantopithecus probably descended from a common ancestor with orangutans, but their exact lineage requires analysis. Let's look at the evolutionary line of Gigantopithecus and its ancestors. Common Roots of Hominids All hominids descend from a common ancestor who lived about 20 million years ago during the Miocene era. This ancestor gave rise to various primate lineages, including modern apes. Extinct species such as Gigantopithecus, Dryopithecus, and others. One of the key ancestors of Gigantopithecus is considered to be the common ancestor of orangutans, since genetic and anatomical data indicate their close relationship. Ramapithecus Ramapithecus is a genus of fossil primates that lived about 14 million years ago. Ramapithecines are known from fragmentary remains of jaws and teeth, which allow us to reconstruct their appearance and lifestyle. Ramapithecines were small compared to modern apes. Their weight was about 20 to 40 kilograms. Their teeth were more human-like than those of other primates of the time. Ramapithecines had a small brain size, comparable to modern apes. They lived in forest and savanna zones, where they could move both on the ground and in trees. Most likely, Ramapithecines were quadrupeds, but could briefly walk on two legs. Ramapithecines have long been considered the earliest ancestors of humans. However, modern research indicates that they are likely related to the evolution of great apes, especially orangutans. Their features, such as thick tooth enamel, indicate similarities with some members of the lineage leading to Gigantopithecus. The reasons for the extinction of Ramapithecus are not completely clear but the following factors are possible. The reduction of forest areas and the growth of savannas may have reduced the available resources. Ramapithecus may have competed with other primate species for food and habitat. Their specialized diet may have contributed to their inability to survive in changing conditions. Civapithecus They lived 12 million years ago. The habitat of these creatures is India and Pakistan. Civapithecus is a more advanced branch of primates, reminiscent of modern orangutans. They had a flattened snout, large fangs, and strong jaws, suggesting they fed on tough vegetation. It is believed that Gigantopithecus descended from Civapithecus or had a common ancestor with them. These monkeys already had signs characteristic of grass eaters other species. Senupithecus is an extinct genus of apes that lived during the Middle Miocene, about 12 million years ago. Their remains were first discovered in East Africa, in the territory of modern Kenya, which gave the name to this genus. Senupithecus is considered an important link in hominid evolution, as it may have been the ancestor of both modern apes, including humans, and other fossil species such as Civapithecus and Gigantopithecus. At this time, Africa was experiencing significant climatic changes, forests began to give way to savannas and woodlands, which influenced the evolution of primates. Senupithecus was probably semi-arboreal, their movement combined tree climbing with the ability to move on all fours on the ground. Senupithecus is considered important due to its evolutionary characteristics, which indicate its possible relationship with early hominids. 
They have features of both more primitive apes and modern apes, making them an important transitional link. The ability to move on land is an important trait that would later play a key role in hominid evolution. Development of chewing teeth with thick enamel. Probably complex social groups that required communication and joint action. Senupithecus probably stands at the origins of the evolution of both African and Asian apes. Among their possible descendants, African hominids are the direct ancestors of Australopithecus and Homo. Ramapithecus, Sivapithecus, Gigantopithecus are the ancestors of orangutans. Senupithecus went extinct about 10 million years ago. Increasing aridity in East Africa has led to the loss of forests and the spread of savannas. This has reduced food sources and reduced the forest areas available for life. The emergence of more specialized species of apes and other primates. Competition with herbivores for plant resources. Protogigantopithecus. Period of existence about 10 million years ago. Habitat, Southeast Asia. Protogigantopithecus is a conventional term designating transitional forms between Sivapithecus and Gigantopithecus. Although their remains have not been found, it is assumed that such species existed, gradually increasing in size and specializing in plant foods. These species adapted to life in dense forests and began to specialize on a diet that included bamboo and other tough plants. Gigantopithecus is a genus of extinct giant apes that lived in what is now Asia between 2 million and 300,000 years ago. Their evolution is interesting both as an example of primate adaptation to changing environmental conditions and for understanding why they became extinct. Let's look at the full path of their evolution. Origin Water Gigantopithecus belongs to the family of great apes, and their closest living relatives are orangutans. The genus Gigantopithecus first appeared in the Pliocene about 2 million years ago. Their ancestors likely migrated from Africa to Asia, like other ancient primates, thanks to changing climatic and geological conditions. Unique Features of Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus were true giants. It is estimated that they could reach a height of up to 10 feet and weigh around 300 to 500 kilograms. Their features, massive physique. Gigantopithecus was the largest primate that ever lived. Powerful jaws. This allowed them to effectively chew through rough vegetation. Big teeth especially molars, which were used to grind plants, including bamboo. Habitat and Diet The remains of Gigantopithecus are found mainly in China, India, and Thailand. This suggests that they lived in tropical and subtropical forests. They lived in dense forests, eating plant foods. Bamboo, like modern pandas. Leaves, fruits, roots and other plant materials. The dense vegetation of the forests provided Gigantopithecus with enough food, although their size required significant energy expenditure. Adaptations to the environment Gigantopithecus demonstrates an example of adaptation to a plant diet. They had powerful jaws and thick enamel teeth to chew through tough vegetation. They were probably not entirely arboreal due to their size. Most likely, Gigantopithecus was semi-arboreal, moving between trees and the ground. Competition and Extinction Gigantopithecus went extinct about 300,000 years ago. The reasons for their extinction are complex and include climate change. 
In the Pleistocene, a general cooling began, which led to a reduction in the forests where Gigantopithecus lived. They were unable to adapt to new conditions because their diet was specific. Competition with other species On land, they could compete for resources with other herbivores and also face predators. The appearance of ancient people Although there is no direct evidence, it is possible that Homo erectus or other early humans competed with Gigantopithecus for resources or even hunted them. Modern Hypotheses About Gigantopithecus There are many hypotheses about what Gigantopithecus could have been, Yeti or Bigfoot. Some believe that the legends of giant apes may have been inspired by stories of Gigantopithecus. Closeness to modern primates Modern DNA studies show that their closest relatives are orangutans. Why are they important to science? Studying Gigantopithecus is important because it shows how a changing climate can affect large animal species. They help to understand evolution of large primates, including adaptation to habitat and diet. They provide a context for studying interactions between ancient humans and animals. Gigantopithecus is an amazing example of a giant primate that thrived in the forests of Asia but was unable to survive environmental changes. Their story reminds us of the importance of adaptation and resilience in nature. Their evolution, like their extinction, continues to be the subject of research that reveals the secrets of our planet's past. Specialization in Plant Foods The evolution of jaws and teeth provided the ability to feed on tough vegetation. Adaptation to Forest Conditions All of Gigantopithecus ancestors lived in forests or tropical jungles, which influenced their physical form and lifestyle. Why is studying the ancestors of Gigantopithecus important? Studying the ancestors of Gigantopithecus allows us to understand how large primates adapted to environmental changes, explore the processes of hominid evolution in Asia, identify the reasons for the success and extinction of large species such as Gigantopithecus. The evolutionary line of Gigantopithecus is an example of the complex interaction between biology, ecology, and climate with each stage representing a step towards the emergence of giant apes that dominated their environment but were unable to survive environmental change. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.